Hello Libra, welcome to your monthly reading. So this is going to be for February and today we're looking at your career, okay? Throughout the month we're going to have a bunch of love readings. So if you're inter interested in that, um, definitely subscribe if you haven't already, okay? Give it a like if this resonates. If it, do if it doesn't, uh, you can check your other placements, okay? There are weekly readings on my Instagram and you can also book a, pri a private reading with me on thesunnyvirgo.com if you're interested, okay? So let's get into your reading. So in my prayer meditation, I actually got something very interesting. So number one, I'm not sure if this is going to be a career message for you, <laughs> but, and I'm saying that because the first thing, it was quite quick how it showed up. The first thing that I got for you was a heart, a really red, beautiful heart. Um, and then I was also getting like a lot of eyes and I realized that it was all eagle eyes and, um... You, you maybe watched a lot, okay? A lot of people maybe with their eye on you. Um, yeah, it could be romantically with that heart, but I just feel like you're grabbing a lot of attention, possibly for your good work, okay? And for the effort that you put in that work, for all that you do, okay? So let's, okay, <laughs> let's see what all that is about here for you, Libra. So can we get one more? For Libra here, please. All right. Okay. Also, um, the eagle is uh, the symbol of freedom and courage. So maybe a lot of people are watching um, all that you were able to accomplish, especially with this abundance here, all that you were accomplishing, all the courage that you have for moving forward, all the freedom that you were able to uh, to, to, to get. Uh, in your career, and I am getting like sort of a little bit of jealousy, if that is the case, um, cause especially with this hunger, hunger and abundance, you are accomplishing a lot, quite a lot, and if you don't feel like that, well, certainly the people around you do, <laughs> and um, I do feel like uh, you attract, with this attraction and, and faith here, um, I, I do feel like you you attract a lot of curious eyes. I am getting like your story, but not necessarily your story. Maybe it's just like the things that you do and the work that you put in, like we were talking previously. Um, and I feel like people admire that in you. And um, if you are a teacher, for some, I'm getting some teachers here. Um, I feel like you are creating this energy within your students. And even if you're not a teacher, I feel like you're teaching this to some people. Um, all that courage and all that freedom and all that happiness in the work that you do, I feel like you're giving a lot of courage for your students, be them real students or just people around you, the courage for them to pursue their dreams too, uh, especially with this faith. It's like anything that I dream of is possible. And I feel like you're teaching them that, you're showing them that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> but let's pull some tarot here to get some more information, but you're definitely creating something really amazing. And people are, are seeing that, okay? People are acknowledging that. People are recognizing that. And are getting inspired. I feel like that is a big thing, is that people are getting inspired by you, by your heart, by your love for this. Those students could, it could even be just your friends. Okay, you're just inspiring your friends to, to pursue their dreams too. We have the Four of Swords in the past, current situation, we have the Page of Wands. For the potential outcome, Queen of Cups, beautiful. For the obstacle here, we have the Four of Cups. And for the advice, we have the Ten of Cups. So it sort of matches that relationship vibe that I was getting from the heart. Um, overall energy, Six of Swords. Things are definitely moving and there may be a relationship that it's not necessarily getting in the way, but they may, I, I honestly, I kind of feel like it may be more you worried about that than the actual relationship um, getting in the way or something related with that. Especially with this Four of Cups, I feel like part of you has this sort of fear of if I move too, uh, if I move like too fast or if I move... Um, further, then I might get, uh, I might disappoint this person, or they may not 
respect what I do. They may not uh, understand or believe in me. They may try to um, sort of take me away from there, something like that. I feel like you may be doubting how your person is going to react to this. Because um, in the past, we have this four of swords. So maybe you were not really moving into making this thing happening. You were very like, okay, let's just pull in and we'll see what, what's happening, right? Um, but in your current situation, I feel like now you're, you're planning in a more practical position, in a more practical way. You are starting to move things forward. And you're starting to create. You're starting to take the first steps. For the potential outcome with this Queen of Cups, you may have a lot of water in your chart, by the way. Um, but with this Queen of Cups, I feel like you are creating something beautiful that if, if, with a heart, right? Uh, a lot of love, a lot of passion for what you do, a lot of happiness for what you do. And the advice is exactly that. Keep doing what you are passionate about. Keep doing what brings you faith, what brings you hope, what you want to attract, what you want to create in your life. And you'll see abundance from there, okay? Don't worry about... Um, this relationship that you may be dealing with, don't worry about relationships overall that you may be dealing with. You are inspiring those people, not disappointing them, not making them feel bad, okay? That could be something that is blocking you, something that is worrying you, and I feel like there's um, there's no need to do that, okay? There's no need to, to worry about that because you're actually doing quite the opposite. You're definitely motivating them to um, f follow their dreams too, and to create the things that you want to create, okay? So let's clarify some stuff here. Let me see more about this Four of Swords. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Three of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and I would like to mention that bottom of the deck we have this Five of Wands. A lot of conflict, and I feel like it's conflict within yourself, because where wherever you were before it probably brought you a lot of money it probably was stable it probably did a lot of good things but i feel like you lost the motivation to do stuff and so that's probably why you took some vacation or you took a little uh you you went more into a four of swords position where you're like oh I'll just let's just go with the flow let's just do things slowly and not really think about it because uh, i feel like you sort of lost the motivation to do stuff sort of lost motivation to keep walking, keep moving. And with this Ace of Pentacles, wow, well, look at this. Ace of Pentacles, Emperor, Two of Cups, King of Cups. You went for an opportunity um, that empowers you, okay? That connects with your heart. That is something that you really, really love. That is yours, okay? I really like that. So let's see that page of wands in your current situation. Yeah, Knight of Cups. What else about that page of wands? Ooh, I love this. Uh, Knight of Cups. We have strength over here. And can we get one more? All right, we got five. That's good. <laughs> so um, the Seven of Cups and Three of Swords came in reverse. And we also have Justice. So you're creating this page of wands. is going... Uh, with passion, with, with passion, with curiosity, with the Knight of Cups, with the heart, creating something that empowers you, creating something that is balanced, creating something that doesn't leave you unfulfilled, doesn't leave you questioning everything, doesn't leave you a little bit, not really pay, with pain, but doesn't leave you wondering and questioning and doubting and you know losing motivation it motivates you it gives you all that energy and I feel like that is the energy that you're gonna get throughout the month of February and um, with that Queen of Cups that's where you're going a Queen of Cups a passionate uh, loving caring beautiful person that gets a lot of money being like that <laughs> That connects with a lot of abundance in all shapes and forms, okay? It's not only about money. You get a lot of abundance in happiness too, okay? With what you do. And that is because you did that little shift where you weren't happy before and now you are, okay? Four of Cups for your obstacle here.
have the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and we also have the Lovers. Yeah, so there is that relationship, especially with the Three of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. There it is, that relationship that has been showing up, where I do feel like you're a little bit afraid of creating some sort of burden, of being too passionate about your own stuff, and maybe forgetting about the relationship, or just, um, because it, it may not be a romantic relationship, it may be the relationship with your friends, it may be the re relationship with your family, stuff like that. Um, I've been noticing that I say stuff like that a lot, okay. <laughs> but uh, you may be worried about that, about creating burdens, and they love you still, okay, with this Ten of Cups, it's exactly that. Don't worry, because they still love you. Don't worry, because... By you being passionate towards your own stuff, you're making them feel passionate about you. You're making them feel passionate about their own stuff. And you're creating a little spark in them. Okay? And that is creating really amazing things. Not only for you, but for everyone that's in your life and everyone that is around you. Okay? So let's get here some messages and advice from the universe for you. What do we have for Libra over here? What do we have for Libra? Ooh, okay. Let's see. Alright. So, we have take a step back, relax, eat pizza, just enjoy the ride. Don't, like, really try to not um, worry about this, okay? Really try to just enjoy what you're doing and to feel passionate for what you're doing, okay? Listen to your inner child. Be a little kid. Be that page of wands. Be curious. Be happy doing what you're doing. Know that everything is going to be okay and that you're going to accomplish anything that you want, anything that just sets your mind to you. Ask for help. Those people that you were wondering, oh my god, maybe I'm ruining stuff. You're actually uh, creating a deeper bond within this relationship because they may actually be a really good help and it may strengthen their relationship, okay? Surrender, you've done everything you could and follow your intuition. Really let your intuition guide you and with the surrender, you've done everything you could is about the relationship too, okay? So let's pull here some final messages for you. Okay. Linus. Nice. You've run all your stripes and escape. Come home to yourself. Really come home to, yeah, universe. We're all just stardust. Really come home to your purpose. Really come home to your dreams and do whatever you want to do, okay? Uh, you've earned all your stripes. You've, you have been working really hard for you to get somewhere and that somewhere at this Queen of Cups. Keep going. Don't stop because you're about to go into such a beautiful journey. And I feel like you already are in such a beautiful journey. Just enjoy it, okay? Be present in every single moment with this come home to yourself, okay? So, Libra, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. I hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash the like button. Just subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll definitely see you in the next one. All right? Bye-bye.